BBC News with Eileen McHugh. The World Health Organization has appealed for up to $45 billion to narrow growing vaccine inequality worldwide. The head of the WHO, Tedros Ghebreyesus, asked for more funding for the COVAX initiative to provide doses to poorer countries. He also called for coronavirus vaccine patent rules to be waived. The British Foreign Secretary, Dominic Raab, has spoken of a shift towards like-minded countries working more closely together after meeting the US Secretary of State. Antony Blinken said the two countries would continue to address what he described as the atrocities in Xinjiang and China's clampdown in Hong Kong. President Biden has said his administration will allow 62,500 refugees into the United States this year. Last month, Mr Biden said he would stick to an annual limit of 15,000 brought in under President Trump. The billionaire Bill Gates and his wife Melinda have announced that they are to divorce. In a statement, the pair said they would continue to work together for their philanthropic foundation. Security sources in Burkina Faso say gunmen have killed up to 30 people in the east of the country. An official said a group of armed men attacked the village of Kodiel early on Monday. A landmark trial has begun in the United States that sees one of the world's most valuable companies, Apple, accused of abusing its market dominance. Epic Games, which makes Fortnite, has brought the case. It argues that developers have no choice but to use the technology giant's app store where they charge fees of up to 30% on transactions. Apple denies its practices are unfair. And the airline Lufthansa says it aims to fit its cargo fleet with a surface film that mimics shark skin to try to reduce its carbon emissions. It says the material reduces drag by more than 1%. BBC News.